from uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, weighing in at 217 and one half pound, the former world champion, Muhammad Ali, Ali, Muhammad Ali, his worthy opponent, his worthy opponent, the great Toronto Hard Rock, the Canadian heavyweight champion from Toronto at 221 pounds in the blue corner, George Chavello! Chavello! This is Guy Lebeau, back at ringside at the Pacific Coliseum. You'll note that uh, George Chavello will give about four inches up in reach. He is 34 years old. Muhammad Ali is 30. To a final. I was a little perturbed by the look of Shivalo as he weighed in early this morning. He was very pale and I thought looked uneasy. Their ages, you see, the weights 217 and a half. Muhammad Ali 220 for Shivalo. I thought Shivalo would come in at about 218, but he looks very taut and in shape at 220. And I can only tell you with great emphasis that the man everybody was watching in terms of shape and condition was Muhammad Ali, and he has pleased everybody in that respect, but mostly himself. At height, 6'3", six, 6'1", six, for George, and Shivalo will, uh, will give up four inches in reach. And this, of course, will be critical insofar as he is a fighter with short punches, uh, throws very short, and likes to come inside, of course, but at long range is not particularly effective. Shivalo has predicted a knockout. Muhammad Ali says he will be the first man to knock George Shivalo off his feet. This is the second reckoning they fought before. Muhammad Ali won a 15-round decision, but says it was the hardest fight he ever had. He was hit harder by Shivalo than anyone, with the exception of Joe Frazier. And now, Shivalo has to think about this. He knows that Muhammad Ali usually comes out a little bit slower, works into full speed by the third round when he's shooting those left jabs and pumping the right hand with authority. Shivalo, we thought, would come out smoking. Shivalo thought he might, but you never know until the very last second. Shivalo's idea will be to cut off the ring a little bit. It's been the idea of everybody who has fought Muhammad Ali, and of course they have been unsuccessful, with the exception of Frazier. Frazier was able to do it because with one blow he could slow you down considerably. Shivalo has punching power, but not with a Joe Frazier. When Shivalo is a counterattacker, which he likes to fight like, he is not as effective as when he goes after his man aggressively. Shivalo, as we said, has never, never been knocked off his feet. Sometimes that's not particularly good. Sometimes it's good to be knocked off a little bit, lie around for a count of eight, and then come back. A minute has gone by in round That's one, right and Ali lands with a combination with not too much power, is dancing more springly, and a good solid combination by Ali Rakshavato, but he comes back. Ali is faster here in round one than we've seen him in his previous rounds against Mathis, against Mac Foster, and against Jimmy Ellis. 30 seconds remaining, or rather a minute 30 remaining in round one. Shivalo has not yet landed anything too effectively. He chased Muhammad Ali in their previous fight, as you know. He won only three rounds out of 15. Two were even on most cards. Shivalo has a little redness along the left eye. Muhammad Ali, apparently, in love with the condition he is now in, just wants to fight up to the top of this battle moving like we've never seen him in a first round of any of his fights. He was 213, I think, in his fight with Sonny Liston. The first or second time, surely. And that was his best fight. All night long. All night long. Ali threw one good combination. They are fighting the five-point must system, as you know. Outside of that, Shivalo has not been hit very hard and has not landed too much back effectively. 30 seconds on. remaining in round one. Still trying to cut off Ali. And that was a good solid up to the body. And good rally by Shivalo. Shivalo with a good rally. Enough to even up the round. And Ali now trying to win it back with that strong left hand. 
Ali allowed himself to be backed into the corner, and Shabala said, any time he goes into a rope or into a corner, I'll be there. And he's saying, fight like a man. I can just see him say that. Uh, and there's the end of round one. Let's go to Ali's corner. Muhammad Ali, 36 fights, 35 victories, 27 KOs. He's lost but one, and that was to Joe Frazier in their memorable championship bout. Ali has trained more seriously, more dedicatedly for this fight than for any fight since the Joe Frazier fight. And then before that, you'd have to go back to the most important fights that led up to winning the world championship from Sonny Lister. There was none of the backlashing, tongue lashing, brash, up and down Ali that uh, was at the Ali camp this time. He was sincere, he was closed mouthed worked very hard. As you know, he first went to Pennsylvania, chopped wood, ran and ran and ran, hit the bags as hard as he could, as often as he could, and kept that up consistently here in Vancouver, Canada. He's been a will-o'-the-wisp, which is contrasted with the kind of social boy he was in Tokyo and other places. Round two, we're calling round one, Eva. Chivalo, as you know, has been cut in previous fights, which have caused those fights to be ended. Chavalo first surfaced many years ago when he pinch hit and took on Mike DeJohn, I believe it was, and beat him. He's been battling 16 years. Shot it left to the body by Chavalo. That's what he wants to do, punch him with his hands into the body. Chavalo is one of the best left hookers in the business today. A good solid right to the body by Shivalo. And Muhammad Ali is not returning enough combinations and enough hard hitting. But look at Ali move about. Have you ever seen a heavyweight move like that? Shivalo is an up and down fighter. Ali ties him up effectively. It was against George Chivalo that Ali did a kind of a cute thing that he kept doing against Mike Foster, holding Chivalo's head down, leaning against the ropes, and begging Chivalo to hit him harder in the stomach. That was in their first fight. And we'll tell you a little bit more about that if it happens. Again. This is round two. Chivalo was tied with a solid combination in round one has done most of the heavy hitting and landing here in round two. A good, solid left to the chin by Ali. You maybe did not see it because of the camera angle. And a good right to the jaw by Ali. And Chivalo is talking to him. One minute left in round two. Ali beginning to taunt Chivalo. Chivalo wants him to stand still and fight. Get it, Joe, and stick it. 40 seconds left in round two. Ali reminds me here of the Ali I saw against Zora Fali in Madison Square Garden. That left jab, and Chivalo come back. Shot it left and right to the face. Returned by Chivalo to take care of the two jabs, and Ali sucks. Ali trying the bolo now. And Ali suddenly reverses and throws the right hand out with good power. Him home, Ali began to throw that bolo a little bit more against Mike Foster in Tokyo and like the way it worked, he told me. Now Shivalo is taunting him. Seconds only remaining in round two. And third in. Shivalo did not come out as fast as he said he would, but he is fast enough. And he is carrying the fight at least 75% of the time. This is George Chivato. He is managed by Al by Irving Ungerman, who is leaning in, the balding gentleman on the right. Ungerman besieged him to quit the ring some four years ago. And for a little while, Chivato thought he might. He had fought enough to realize he was not going to reach the championship. He had been defeated by Floyd Patterson, and he felt that was about it. Then he was, I think it was the defeat by Joe Frazier, really, that turned the tide. And then he decided he would fight on, and Ungerman said, okay, if you are going to fight, 
I'll remain as your manager, but I will no longer take a penny in commissions. And that's the arrangement, the association between George Chavallo and Ori Bungerman, and I think it's the unique one in boxing history. Chavallo cutting out against Muhammad Ali for round three, and this crowd at the Pacific Coliseum whipping up to this fight. Now Muhammad Ali going into the famous Ali dance, Keeping his eyes sectioned at the midsection of George Chavallo. Chavallo wants the body. And then suddenly shifts his attack to the head. Chavallo came to, I guess, the peak of his particular career when he stopped Jerry Clark. Jerry gets another chance at Muhammad Ali on the 26th of June in Las Vegas. In all candor, Muhammad Ali looks as if he hasn't even been working too hard. Untouched, moving at will, hands down loose. And I suspect waiting for Shibato to tire himself, punch himself out a little bit. No, stop sticking him! Before he begins That's the night's right. work in Syria. Oh, no. oh, no. One minute remaining in round three. I want to check that. It's a minute and 45 seconds remaining. Get him drunk with that left. Ali has not done much offensively since round one. Chivalo got most of the hard blows in in round two. Chivalo looks clear-eyed and incidentally looks a lot better now than he did when he was on the scales this morning. Very pale, very pallid, didn't talk. Ali was very quiet too. It was kind of a somber session. Hardly the kind that surrounds That's a Muhammad right, Ali gentlemen. fight. About a minute left in round three. Oh, it has slowed down. The hard hitting came by Shibalo in round two. Oh, the good hitting by Muhammad Ali in round one. On and done it. Chavallo makes the point. A good solid left to the face by Chavallo. Nobody has treated Ali that way lately. And a beautiful combination by Muhammad Ali in return. It's when he begins to throw those that you know he's got the sense of the fight and is ready to make his move. In previous fights, he could not do that very well or too much. It required better conditioning. But he has the better conditioning now. 20 seconds remaining. Round three. Ali hasn't stopped dancing since the bell sounded. A good son of rocking left hand by Ali. Sneaked in against Shibato. And that has bothered Shibato. Only seconds remaining in round three. And that left hand sneaked into the chin, which we barely saw, we barely caught, has bothered Shibato. Where's the bell ending round three? We're glad to acknowledge the presence ringside of Bud Schulberg, who has no peer as a novelist or a writer, particularly in the world of sports. And he has just penned the book, Loser and Still Champion, about Muhammad Ali. And Bud is sitting right beside him. Bud, we've got this, <laughs> we've got quite a bath. We've spilled the water over everything we own, including our trousers and all our notes. Bud, how's this fight look to you so far? Well, I thought Ali had the first two rounds. He looked awfully good. I think he's in the best shape he's been in since his comeback. Right there at Shibalo the... Shibalo is mean and tough, and it's going to be interesting now. Bud, we're looking forward to reading your book. I understand it's a bread you Well, thank you. So, loser and still champion. We're hoping he's going to win tonight. I am, but but he is the champion of so many people, and, and we're, so many people are rooting for him. I know in, in Canada that many people are rooting for Shibalo. Thank you very much. Bud Shulberg. This is round four. As we reported to you at the end of round three, a sneaky short left hand to the chin hurt Chivalo, and Muhammad Ali now still has that face as a target and landed again. And again. Chivalo, you know, had a serious eye operation a couple of years ago performed by the doctor who attends him in his corner, and we'll point him out a little bit later on. His right eye was cracked badly by a blow by Joe Frazier oh, and the no. eyeball actually dropped into the or dropped out of the socket into the skin oh, patch no. below and they had to build up the skin area underneath the socket 
with special material. Actually, it's made the white eye stronger in all senses. But he did have a very critical operation on that right eye. Minute gone by in round four. Ali letting Shivalo get away from him a little bit. But remember, Shivalo has great endurance, great durability. And just when you think you have him, he comes on like that. The left hand landed well. The right hand was a crazy blow. Muhammad Ali pacing himself very well, very well. He's got to get past Shibato, and he's got to go to Quarry in June, and this is the last leg of a long trip back to a squared circle with Joe Frazier. Remember that as fighters go today, Shibato probably can take more punishment than any fighter, including champion Joe Frazier. But just when it looks like he's going to be counted out or being knocked out, look out, he'll come back, and like that. But Ali, speeding up his punches now, he has landed two good telling combinations. And soon it will begin to blind and slow down Shibalo a little bit. He has the heavy overhanging brows, which begin to puff up and spoil his sight. Ali ties him up just when Shibalo had a rally going. And time is being called, Muhammad Ali is Left uh, shooting is on that. Muhammad Ali is right over our corner. Who's coming up from the crowd it's in the Coliseum, but unnecessarily so. They are fighting, incidentally, with eight ounce gloves. And there was a bone of contention earlier this week as to whether they would fight with eight or ten inch gloves. Ten inch gloves would be required by the Vancouver Athletic Commission. But that was waived after uh, Ungerman, manager of Shivalo, put up one heck of a smell about it. He had had bad results with the 10-inch gloves, which are made in Mexico. They're wearing Everlast here, which are eight ounces and made in the United States. And we don't wish to get into uh, national politics about it, but that is just a statement of the fact. Shivalo still has no planned attack, mainly to get to the body, slow him up enough so he can get to the head. That beats you, coming. Seconds only remaining, another good combination by Muhammad Ali in round four. And there's a replay of that first round. Not enough time for heavy hitting to be critical for Shibato. Seconds only remaining in this round. And there is the bell. Murray Pessin is the promoter here of this match at the Pacific Coliseum. Robert Aram represents top rank and Hank Schwartz video techniques. Now we're peering into the corner of George Shivalo. The man standing on the upper writer's face is just out of reach as the doctor who performed, there he is now, who performed the eye surgery on Shivalo. Shivalo, by the way, as a man who has saved his money after 16 years of boxing, he has enough money to have bought a a uh, ice rink, which he is building actually in Toronto. He owns a number of other businesses. The relationship with Ungerman has been a warm one and a good one, and I wish it would have on the other fighters. Shabato's mother and father once worked for Irving Ungerman. He owns a poultry processing farm or factory. And uh, there has been a father-son relationship between Ungerman here and George Shabato, the three-time Canadian heavyweight champion. And out they come. Round five, Muhammad Ali ahead, but he has been pestered and he has been hurt by George Shabala. Let's bring him home. Let's bring him home. When we say hurt, this doesn't mean he has been shot to pieces or anything Let's like that. Now. But sometimes from a hard blow thrown by Shabala, you can see glances of concern cross Ali's face and their reflexes. They do hurt. That's a risk. That's just a slip. Shibato is landing more to the body than previous opponents have, and he can't hurt. He is at 220 pounds, while Muhammad Ali is at 217 and a half. A famous writer in Toronto, Milt Donnell, said that if taking punishment was the leader of being a champion, Shibato would have been champion long ago and for a long time. They are both in excellent condition. Round five. Keep fighting it. If you want to make comparisons, when Ali goes against Quarry, Quarry will throw faster, faster leather. 
but not necessarily harder than Shibalo, and probably not. Shibalo still trying to cut off the ring, but not being able to. And I would have thought that Muhammad Ali would be moving to Shibalo's right to get away from that left hook. Now he is, but he lifts it up. And again, Muhammad Ali is very quickly landing the combination, then tying his man up. Shibalo telling Dave Brown, the referee, that Ali is holding him. As I report to you, Shivalo still breathing very well, not appearing to be out of gas, even though he has chased Muhammad Ali considerable distance. They're fighting inside an 18-foot ring. Earlier this afternoon, they uh, hoisted a 16-foot ring. And The crowd whooping it up for Ali and whooping it up for Shibato to come forward. Both of them each other pretty well. Both of them in solid shots and now both seem on time. Look at the lower right corner and you'll see the seconds remaining in the fight in this round. Round five. Shibato will not come forward and either will Ali and why should he? He's standing right in his corner. This is Muhammad Ali's corner. He doesn't have to take the bus anywhere. Now he comes out. Now Shibato looks a little tired. He turns it out. We'll go into uh, Muhammad Ali's corner for a moment. And something I want to tell you about, which you may not have too much time to think about, or I may not have too much time to tell you about. In a couple of cases, notably in the Shibato case, and lastly in the battle against Mike Foster in Tokyo. You'll remember that Ali stayed in a corner against the ropes, had his hands down on the neck of Mac Foster, and was asking him to hit him harder, harder, harder in the body. And Foster could only feebly throw hands at the body. The same happened to Shibato. So we have finally found out from speaking to a number of good trainers, experts in their field, that what happens is that the pressure that Ali applies at the back of the neck when he holds his man's head inward while he beckons him to hit him with the body sort of cuts the wind out of the arms. Maybe it hits a nerve. Maybe it does something else. I don't know. But the minute he puts his hand on the back of a man's neck, the man can't do too much higher blood of flowing. And that's the story. This is round six. Shavaro was shaken up a little bit for the last flurry in round five as Ali came out of his car. Now Ali is in a punching stance. Muhammad Ali's KOs have mostly come before the seventh round. What a rally by Muhammad Ali. Ali lands none of it. Shavaro bleeding from the right eye. Shavaro can't stop anything. And Ali hitting him with everything under the sun. This is an unleashed Ali. This is the Ali that crowds have asked for, which he hasn't been able to give them in any fight since Joe Frazier. Chavato is still strong, still standing on his feet. He's never been knocked off his feet, but he is hurt, bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the forehead, bleeding from a punch in the right eye section. There was plenty of time after a KO by Ali, but with quick, bombastic blows. With hurricane effort, Muhammad Ali has suddenly busted up George Shibato. Shibato still carrying leather, but he is bleeding profusely along the right side of the nose, badly from the eye, on the forehead, and from the mouth. The question now will be, does Ali have anything to finish it off with, or was this just another flurry of Ali's as he flurried against Mike Buster in round three at Tokyo? And still Shibato stands. Ali has said he was going to knock him out. But he's still in there. The blows that he took for the not most opponent's out. And still Shavalo comes forward. And I'm not going to say whether Ali was playing with him or not. All I know is he had Shavalo, he was all his, threw everything at him, and he couldn't take it out. Ali too has been trying to get back that instinct for the kill, that ability to finish off an opponent. 
But he has always been something of an enigma insofar as finishing opponents off. The same is true of Zavallo. Zavallo still in there throwing leather. But he has been busted up by Muhammad Ali, and they'll have a considerable amount of time to do at the end of this round. 30 seconds left in this round. Shavato, I can tell you, can still see well. The eye is open. Maybe the doctor will be able to prevent any undue swelling, and the fight should continue at this pace. Shavato breathing just a little bit more heavily. 18 seconds left in this round. Ali had that mid-round flurry, and that's been about it. He may be pacing himself. He may be all he has. He knows better than I do, and I'm sure he wants to find out. Dancing around the ring now, he seems to be all right, but he's not close. Let's see George Tomato's round, and let's see how they patch him up. There's the doctor with his back to the camera. There's Ted McWhorter, the trainer, and Irv Argonne anxiously working over him. That's by slow motion. We may be able to show you the uh, flurry of Ali, which did all the damage. So we'll just wait and see if we can do that. As you know, Shivano has been stopped on cuts a number of times. Frazier stopped him on cuts in three rounds, and there is the attack by Muhammad Ali. It was a vicious attack. In one case, he hit him with the back of the glove. I think you'll see that in a minute with the right hand. He hit him going down and again coming up. Well, we can't see from that shot. But the muscles look strong. They look in tune. Now he hits him coming up. Shavalo has taken a gross amount of punishment. Gasping for air, but still going. What a round it's been. Round seven. So already, this has been the fight that the promoters, that the fighters predicted. And it wasn't until the very last, I might say, that the sports writers of Vancouver and certain sections of Canada gave uh, Shibato any support whatsoever. He has been denigrated. He has been ranked down more harshly by local writers than any fighter of recent note, and he doesn't deserve it. Ali's corner calling for him to stick Shibato at this point, maybe telling him not to go into exchanges of any power nature now. Here come your has certainly come to fight tonight. This could be the last hurrah with George Chavallo. He may decide to hang it all up tonight. 16 years of fighting. He's won when he should have lost, lost when he should have won. He's never been able to really put it all together. But he would deserve a standing ovation anywhere because of a dedicated fight career. Ali breathing a little bit heavily now as he backs into his own. As he backs into his own. Oh, what a fine rally to the body. I can tell you, Ali is breathing heavily. Sometimes the camera will not pick up the facial motions, the respiratory actions. I can see it all, and it is why I'm telling you some of these things. Ali, remember, could not finish Shibano off in the previous round after having him going down the chute. And here has raised no attack of any consequence against Shibalo. It has been Shibalo carrying the fight. And Shibalo already, in my card, has won two rounds of this fight at least. He needs one more to already have a better, uh, as good a record as he did against Ali in the previous fight. Again, the blood starts up at the bar and at the temple of Shibalo. Shibalo's boxing is bent a little bit better. Now he is starting Ali, and Ali's letting him have it. This is most talking I've seen between two important heavyweight contenders. Shibato is claiming that Muhammad Ali is hitting him below the belt, and vice versa. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Just seconds remaining in round six. We're going to take a look at Ali in this uh, next round. That's the end of round six. Shibato came back strongly. 
Holly has nothing to carry him through round six. Holly has claimed that in their previous fight, George Chavallo hit him below the belt a considerable amount of time and hurt him. Chavallo's manager, Ungerman, claimed that Holly was wearing some kind of a unique kind of dapper mob belt, which uh, made it extremely uh, easy for a fighter without meaning to to hit below the belt. And Ungerman has insisted that this time, Ali wear the conventional belt where there'll be none of that nonsense and there'll be no low hitting claim by anybody, by anyone. A report has just come to me that some sports writers at ringside see the fight even as we go into round eight. And uh, this commentator does not see it even, sees Ali ahead. Round eight. Generally speaking, when Ali has knocked out his foes on balance, it has come before the eighth round. Shibato has a better record for knockouts in uh, the earlier rounds. His knockouts have usually come about the fourth round. He has nine one-round KOs to his record. Ali looks set and smooth again. But he's not doing much sticking. At 217 and a half, I still feel Ali might shed one or two pounds. Chavallo oh, having no luck in round eight in Cajun Ali. Ali not so much sticking with the left hand as moving around, fainting with it, bobbing with the head. Trying to draw a right. No damage there whatsoever. Ali held the incoming Shibano at arm's length. Ali's body pounded to the roll up. A good step. Ali looks to Shibano's right hand coming in. And Chivalo hasn't landed too much with that. Every once in a while, when Ali scoots around Chivalo, Chivalo has a kind of a chagrined look. Kind of a, oh, for goodness sake, kind of go with it. Chivalo scores there. We have the five-point must system. In this city, in this fight, the loser of the round gets up to four points. Strangely enough, Ali seldom uses the Jack Johnson technique of stopping blows in the air. I haven't seen that since before his return. Keep that pause in Don't you stop operating on it. Don't stop operating on it. Under 30 seconds remaining in round eight. Don't stop operating on it. So far, rounds six and seven of half the fireworks. Turn him on. Ali has slowed down for seven. George Chivalo, Canadian champion, has had 86 fights, 68 victories, and 57 have been killed. One of the great mysteries of boxing, as we said, won when he should have lost, lost when he should have won. Some of his great fights have been on short notice, as little as 17 days notice, to come in and fight and win a major battle in Madison Square Garden. And incidentally, Sports Illustrated uh, is at ringside following Ali around in a special story together with the people of Top Rank. And they remembered dubbing the last fight between Muhammad Ali and George Zimbabwe the Battle of the Lion Hearted. It is no less that tonight. Both, Sports Illustrated said, can hold their own on any street corner in the world. No question about that.
Round nine. This will be a 12-round battle, remember? A five-point must system. Muhammad Ali sword. He's knocked down for a knockout to make him credible. And he, in his attempt to regain top challenger status in his own mind and in the minds of a great many experts who are beginning to move forward and up close to it, George Foreman. Although Foreman has had no way near the amount of victories over important fighters. Shibano's eye now bleeding again. He has a deep cut right above the right eye and the right eye. It's cut a bit at the inside and cut underneath. But there's no danger from what I see in front of uh, this fight being stopped in the immediate future because of any eye cutting or bleeding. Now let's see if Ali sticks his hands over Cavallo's head. He's trying to. He's being told by his corner to get off the ropes. Now the back by Cavallo and Relentless. And Ali trying to find throwing room now. Cavallo with a great round here, bringing the ground to its feet here at the Civic Coliseum. What a fight this has been. Now Ali displaying some of the quickness of those hands. Ali cutting right back, and there goes Shimano. Although Ali has taken most of the hard punishment of Shivano, whose face indicates that he's taken a great deal of punishment. Only 20 seconds or so remaining in this round. Shivano shows alternating glasses of weakness and the ability to come back. Now he's at the good stage, and there he comes back. And now the blood beginning to flow. There is the bell. There is no question about it. Since it's battle with Joe Fraser and reasonably before George Sabato, the man everybody downplayed it. The man everybody ranked out has put on the best fight that Muhammad Ali has seen in several years with the exception of Joe Frazier. It exceeds anything in total to that Oscar Bonaventa was able to pour off. Jimmy Ellis was helpless. Ditto Mack. Ditto Mack Foster was regarded as an up-and-comer. And here's George Zavala, 34, regarded as over the hill, showing dogged determination, dedication to the fight business, and not only that, but a way out of a left and right. Muhammad Ali on your screen. In his corner, Angelo Dundee, who has been with him since his emergence, who brought him to a world championship fight after only 20 fights. Great muscular architect. This is round 10 coming up. I have a feeling Shimano has come closer in scoring. That's an unofficial remark, of course, than he did in his first fight so far at Madison Square Garden against Muhammad Ali. But Ali told me he expected to knock Shibano out. At least expected to knock him down for the first time in his career. It has not happened. There's nothing that seems as if it all be that it will happen. Shibano summons up great reserves of courage and energy. But Ali is now pinpointing that left hand. He bang banged it right on top of the head in only a little area left to him and scored. You can say what you will. You've seen a classier heavyweight 
than Muhammad Ali with more abilities to move in any direction, fire any kind of blows. I want you to call me and tell me where and when. Give him his cue. A great effort. Who incidentally says he can't stand sports. Coliseum. This being beings in 37 nations across the world and the United States and Canada. This fight may not do as much for Muhammad Ali as it will do for George Sabanis. But of course Ali has taken solid punishment. Body punches have only temporarily slowed him down. He slaps along the arm, he cracks along the shoulders and the forearms have not stopped him from putting it left in the face. He has pulled with Shimano, so he's done everything expected of him. And he's got a little bit more time to pull this point. There's the bell. Remember that Ali's later shot. Later, not as a friendly and no crowd. It was the last round against Bonavina. He stopped Jimmy Ellis in the last round against him. George Shavaro. In some expect he will retire tonight. Win, lose, or draw. I wanted this last opportunity to be a hero before people who have supported him as the Canadian lover, as a Canadian heavyweight champion, three times in his life. He is currently the Canadian heavyweight champion. He took the Canadian title for the first time in 1968 from Jean-Claude Roy. As you well know, only battles between Canadians can evolve for, can evolve the championship. So that the Canadian championship is not at stake tonight, even if Muhammad Ali could win. Ali would have to be the Canadian champion. Round 11. Let us see what Ali has come out to do. He's got two rounds. Uh, Somewhat left. To knock Shimano off his feet. To prove his own hitting prowess. To see that he's got the power back. To mill the Joe Freese. And an inevitable second fight of the century. Ali has not plastered Shimano with his left to the face as much as I would have expected he would. Ali has tried, whatever possible, do mix with Shabazz. He has been willing to mix, but he's shown enough of the left jab. I have a dancer, as you see right now, to indicate he's got it at 30, as he had it the first time we saw him. Shabazz taking advantage of Ali's laziness, and then Now all he's calling is saying, look out there. Shavano is trying to steal the show. Ali being beseeched by his corner to be mean. To take it. This thing throw the light. But Ali is being relentlessly concerned. But although he has hit Shana Price only once, only once in the 11th round, so far, have we seen Ali really appear to be hurt? A concern of this across the ground. 
One minute, one minute, and round 11. The ball was seen traveling up on the G-Rex. And our Holly Measure is looking for the Watson. Midway on the fight, Ali seemed to have Chavalo going. Had the back guard thinking he could get him later. That has to be the out. Or maybe he didn't have enough. No doubt, Ali will have been safe. Chavalo is getting in one of the hardest fights of his career and then lose the draw. Good combination for Ali. Ali is now bleeding from a cutter on the right side of his right arm. Ali appears to be laboring a little bit, too. There is the ball. Go out, this arena. Go out the world, probably. Sports fans have been sitting forward in their seats. The scene's ever going to be. Muhammad Ali will be able to prove that the knockout punch hasn't left him. That the knockdown punch hasn't left him. And that he was as good a puncher as he ever was. He seems to have a small cut along the right side of the eye. It could possibly be that Shimano's blood uh, may have sprinkled over to Ali's eye. That's sometimes uh, looking in Shimano's corner. He expected to be around for this final round. But appears to be around in pretty good shape. Leading his friend control. Here we come. Most of the crowd at Palisades. Palisades. Standing. Have gone by in this
Muhammad. We are waiting this is for closed the circuit decision. television all over the world. Are you surprised that we have New Jersey and all of them? How do you feel, Muhammad? Oh, I feel good. I'm surprised my hand. Were you surprised by the Battle of George Shimano? The Commission of Ben Morley of the Land Board Athletic Commission is counting the score. We will be with you. He's in good shape. He's fighting it better than he fought everybody. Are you uh, disappointed Robert. that you could not knock him off his no, feet? No, I'm not. I try. I have an honest year. Predict the round. Uh, Sam will do something. And half the time, do it and don't do it. I don't feel bad, but we got to get Joe Frazier. It's time for Joe Frazier. What did you I'm fighting all the contenders every month. It's time for him to come on out of hiding and prove he's the real champ. I'm the real what champ. Did, what did you want to prove to yourself in this fight? Did you do that? Mainly that I can get my weight down to what it used to be. Also, go a grueling 12 rounds with this man if I had to and not have a scratch or a bruise, which I don't. Tried to knock him out, had him stuck, hey, but he wouldn't go. Why couldn't you finish him, Muhammad? He's, cool. he's got a short me. neck and he keeps his neck down. He's strong. And we don't always knock him out. Tommy Did you feel in danger at any time yourself? Oh, Once he hit me low, but he accidentally do it. Usually hit me low, but this time he didn't. Uh, any prediction about what might happen to this Jerry Clark in the next uh, Any prediction about what might happen to Jerry Clark? I don't think Jerry Clark is this rough. He just knocked out Clark. Clark was winning, but he knocked him out. But Clark is a good fighter, and I think a true champion should fight everybody, every month if have to, and no tricks, no gimmicks. Okay. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So there it is. As I'm an Adam George Shabato, can we get George? Hold it. Hold it. Let's bring Joe Bates. Bates Bates that new tramp. Prove he ain't a coward. Get him out of training, because I'm ready, the promoter's ready, and the world's ready, and Joe Frazier's ducking. And when I get Joe Frazier, it will not be a match. Okay, Muhammad. Let's see if we can get George Shabato. We'll put up a gallant fight against Muhammad Ali. Irving Ungerman is now congratulating Muhammad Ali. Let's get our microphones in here. Can we get our microphones in here? George, are you going to continue the fight? Most naturally, I said, when was the draw before tonight? But I was still... No, Did not... you prove what you wanted to prove to oh, yourself in this fight? Not really. I, I proved that I... I want to prove that I can win, but it still was a good fight. I'm happy enough with the points. We're not happy enough. I wanted to win, but uh, nevertheless, it was a good fight. Not so many. Were you in danger at any time, George? No, not really. Only thing, by the little with the cup, but I was never dating right now. Did you feel you had Muhammad Ali going at any time? I had him a few times. I had him some, him with some good punches, but I just didn't follow up enough. But I... Heard him with a few good shots. Do you think he'll take care of Jerry Clary as good as you did? Oh, I think he'll be took care of him the first time. So no reason to think why he can't do it again. And what about Clary? Still a dangerous fighter. And what about in the battle with Joe Frazier? Have you any prediction there, George? I still got to go with Joe. What kind of fight do you want now, Shabalo? Well, I'm going well, to fight him for the British Empire title. For the British that's Empire title. One, Who would that be against? One shot, Bodell. Jack Bodell. George is the number one for eight years. Nice. Hey, well, okay, 14 years. Correction. I've been. Expecting possibly tonight, without saying it really openly, that possibly this, we don't know, but I do want to get the British Empire that George has been waiting for and well deserved and never was given a chance. You have a lot of uh, I told you so's to tell against the Canadian press, haven't you? I have which, well, I'm sorry. you've got I told you so. None of them well, supported George Shabal. That's right. He had more support in the States than he had in Canada. I'm very so happy for them eat their words. That's right. I'm very happy that he was able to stay the distance guy, and that was the most important thing. And now no more talk about retiring, at least not for the time being. Well, day. I think he'll retire, but uh, it all depends on whom he's going to fight. We're not Thank just going to fight to take the losses. Thank We're you not very... going to try to prove the fact that he'll never be knocked down. Thank you very much, Irv. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, we find our camera. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Guy LeBeau at the Pacific Coliseum. I think this fight turned out to be everything a lot of people thought it would not be. But I suppose any time you get dedicated fighters in there, and George Chavallo is that, if he is nothing else, then you're bound to get an extremely good fight, the kind that Chavallo put up here. It makes a lot of, it makes a lot of Chavallo supporters very happy. None of the Muhammad Ali supporters should in any way be disappointed. Muhammad Ali gave as well as he could uh, as, and, and, and took as well as he gave, as a matter of fact, and I believe it's very well on the way toward that inevitable battle with Joe Frazier. He proved that he could punch, he proved that he could take a punch, 
I don't know what more is expected to be proven by Muhammad Ali before he faces Frazier again. So now from the Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver, Canada, for Video Technique Hank Schwartz, president, for Top Rank Bob Arum, the presiding officer, and for our producer Murray Pleasant, Productions Limited, here in Vancouver, this is Guy Lebeau saying good night. We hope you had a good time throughout the world. <laughs>